Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. I hope you guys are doing great. And today's topic is actually about an introduction to Discord servers. Now, in my previous video, I have explained on what is a server and how to join a server and several other basic informations. But today we're actually going to dig a bit deeper and we're going to see how does a server looks like and you know how to interact with the server and get used to it and so on but before we move on i just want to say that if you are new to my video then welcome to my channel i make videos regarding to discord on tips tricks and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level so if you are someone who used discord and you know you want to learn a lot more gain knowledge and experience and just make your server pretty awesome or if you're someone new to discord and want to understand what is discord and how stuffs work and you know just going from the baby steps to advanced levels then make sure to subscribe down below and leave a like to this video as well don't forget to click on the bell icon to never miss my upcoming videos and yeah let's hop into today's topic so in my previous video i have actually explained what is a server if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description below and at the top of the video so feel free to check it out but today i'm just going to summarize it so a server is basically a place where you can talk, hang out, and have fun with people. And a server can be made based on any topic that you want. So it can be music, gaming, business, bitcoins, um, you know, study group, or even just a specific place for your friends to hang out. And one of the best thing is that Discord gives you the ability to either let all of the world enter your community or just allow some specific people to join your community which is a server so um you know you can create an invite link if you want the you know if you want people on internet to just join your server they can join or if you wanted to keep it private for some specific users or yourself you can do that as well and when you join a server this is how it looks like it's basically you know this is the main area where um you see people typing and then you see those some texts at the left side of your uh, discord application and then you see some of these speakers icon what, what are these so let's go into it so basically your server is divided into two different types of channels these on the left side of your application within your server that you see are called channels and when i say they're divided into two different types of channels i mean the one with the hashtags that you see here these are called text channels and the one below that you're seeing here are called voice channels now text channel is basically a place where you can interact with people by texting you can talk with them and you know hang out with them using your text chat and text channels can be divided into different topics so let's say the area where i am in right now is called the general section so this is basically a general area where you can hang out with people and you know talk in general but let's say if you want to talk about your pet or you want to talk about food you want to share something that you have made today so you really don't want to hop into a general section where people for example are talking about coding and you hop in and just throw your pizza and say look what i have made people will be confused and it will be kind of annoying that we're talking about programming and this dude just hops in and throws his pizza inside so this is one of the reasons why text channels are made in different topics so if you want to share your food which is your pizza you obviously have to go to your food channel and then you can share your pizza in here as you can see there are some people who have shared their food here and it's not like they're sharing their pets here the reason is that there is already a pet section here and people share their pets here so people who are actually interested in looking at pets they would be obviously going to a pet section instead of going to a food section so it's just you know a way to keep your uh, community and conversation organized in a specific rooms you can say while on the other hand a voice channel is basically a place where you can hang out with people using your voice so instead of chatting you can just talk with them and obviously other than just talking you can also share your screen if you want to watch something together or just show something or you can also video call in discord servers so for the text channel it is obviously clear if you want to talk with people you have to just type in you know in your message box section and obviously once you join a server you're going to see some different channels in here 
you can just hop into a certain topic that you're interested in. However, I'm going to explain to you guys on how to join a voice channel since you guys are new to Discord. That's obviously the reason why you have clicked on this video. So in order to join a voice channel on Discord server, you have to click on this icon which is shown as a speaker. And those speaker icons basically means these are voice channels. So let's say you want to talk in this channel which is known as music too. That's just an example, you don't really talk in music channels most likely. It's basically a place where you listen to music and now obviously Discord is having an issue with music box. If you're interested in just listening to it, I have also made a video regarding to that. Feel free to check it out, I'll link it in the description below. But anyways, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to join a music channel. So let's say if you want to join a music channel and talk with people who are already in this channel. So you have to click on this channel. Once you click on this channel, you should see a green outline around your avatar when you speak. So as you can see, when I'm speaking, it's showing the green outline. And when I don't speak, there you go, it just disappears. So once you see this, it basically means that you are talking and people can listen to you. However, you may need to adjust your voice settings in case. So in order to do that, you have to click on this gear icon below that you're seeing. And then you go to a tab called voice and videos. And then you can just, you know, adjust your voice settings. You can adjust your input device, output device, adjust their volumes. And you can change the type of input mode you want to add for talking. So a bonus tip here that you can adjust the volume of other people in the voice channels. So if you want to do that, what you can do is, for example, here, there's Alec as a person who's talking to you. And, you know, if you feel like he's talking too low or too loud, you can basically right click on their avatar and in adjust the volume here. So normally it's on 100. And if you want to increase, you can increase it. Or if you want to decrease, you can decrease it. On your phone, you can, you know, press on their name on mobile and then adjust it. Also, another bonus tip is that you can use Discord's crisp noise suppression to filter out the unwanted background noise that you're getting. So it may be sometimes your pet, you know, it's sometimes making noise and it's not really near you or you're outside and it's so windy and you want to just, you know, filter out the background noise that you're getting so people can't really hear so they can hear you clear enough so what you can do here on your desktop is that you go here at the bottom left where you will see this wave icon and then once you click here you can just enable or disable it normally it's enabled for everyone if you want to disable it you can just disable it next is that you can also video chat with people so as i have explained before in order to do that you have to be in a discord voice channel mm -hmm. And then you obviously click here at the video option that says turn your camera on. I don't really want to expose myself. So um, yeah, maybe, you know, when I reach a really large number of subscribers. Anyways, that's where you turn on your camera to talk with people using your video. And obviously, if you're on phone, you can see the same icon that shows video, something like this. You can just click on it and you will be able to video call from your phone as well. I don't know if I have made this clear earlier when I was talking about the settings, but I'll just do it in case. You can change your input device and in order to change your input device, you have to go to your settings here, which is the gear icon, and then you go to your voice and video. And now here you will see two different options, which says input device and output device. Input device basically means, you know, that Discord will be gathering your voice so if you are using a laptop, for example, and you want to use your mic in order to talk, you have to select your microphone here. And normally Discord automatically detects the input device and the output device. But just in case, if it does not, then you can go to your settings and select a microphone here instead of other options that are available on your desktop. As for the output device, it basically means where your voice will be getting out of. So for example, if you're using a speaker, you can select here a speaker instead of your headphones. But um, I normally listen by headphones. I don't know who wants to listen to people using their speakers. That's quite weird. So yeah, you can just select whatever you like in here. Now let's talk about how to share your screen on Discord server. So in order to share your screen, as usual, you have to be in a voice channel. And once you are in a voice channel, you have to click on this icon, which says screen or share your screen. 
Once you click here, you can either choose a specific application or you can share your screen, entire screen. So um, just select one. Once you select, for example, once you select this, once you are sure of your settings and so on, just click go live and there you go. Uh, you can share, you're basically sharing your screen. That's what I'm sharing right now. So yeah, that's how you share your screen. Just one note that at this time, audio sharing is only available when sharing an application window through Windows 10. So audio sharing is unavailable in Mac and Linux at this time. But in the future, we are hoping that Discord will be adding this feature. But now I'm going to explain how to join and watch a stream or, you know, screen share that other person is doing. So obviously you will know that, I don't know if you have noticed before when we were screen sharing, that when someone is screen sharing, there is this live icon which appears at the side of their name. So when this appears, this basically means there is someone screen sharing. And in order to join that, you obviously have to be in a voice channel. Now, once you join this voice channel, you have to click on the username of this broadcaster and then you will see this option which says watch stream so then you can click on watch stream and yeah there you go uh, that's my little fellow out here so i i, I like being smart so anyways <laughs> once you have joined you can change the size of this you know section of your screen sharing that you're watching you can pop out and just you know resize wherever you want and so on so that's how you join a stream and watch with other people all right, so now you have learned all of the basic information about the server itself. So now you know how to interact with server and members within the servers. So that's all of the basic information that you need to know. But however, now I'm going to share some of the bonus tips and tricks that might be helpful for you guys as a new user to Discord. And I'm just hoping, you know, if you guys have watched this video until this end, then congratulations, these bonus points might just help you out in some way to make you guys look fancier or something. Anyway, starting with our first bonus tip is that you can listen to music with your friends together on Discord using Spotify Connect. Now, in order to do that, you need to do several settings before you can listen with your friends. And to do that, you have to go to your settings out here and then you have to go to your connections and then you will be seeing a bunch of options out here um, you can just, you know, play around with it and just connect your accounts that you are interested in. But at this specific moment, we're talking about Spotify. So that's what we're going to talk about. So in order to connect your Spotify account with Discord, you have to click on this Spotify icon. Now, I'm not generally going to do that because my Spotify is connected with my real account. I have made this account for the purpose of my YouTube channel for you guys. So um, you have to click on the Spotify icon here and then your browser will pop up and ask the permission to connect your Spotify account with your Discord account. So just basically click connect and you will be ready to go. Now, once your Spotify is connected with your Discord account, you're going to see your Spotify profile in here in your connections tab. Just keep in mind that your second option should be enabled for this to work. Otherwise, if this is disabled, you won't be able to invite your friends to listen music with you. Also, another note that if you still haven't gone through all of these settings and you all of a sudden come to play Spotify while you're using Discord, you may see a green pop up up here that says connect your Spotify with Discord. That's another way you can connect your Spotify with your Discord account. Now, once you're done with your settings and you're ready to listen to music with your friends, for this, you need to run your Spotify application and then play a song. Once your song is being played, you're basically going to see this small green circle icon in this attachment section. And you basically have to click here and then choose the second option that says invite your friend's name and to listen to Spotify. Then you basically click here and add a comment if you want. So for example, here I will say, hey, listen to music with me. There you go and then you just send it one important note that in order to invite your friends to listen they will need to have a spotify premium or they will receive an error now we're going to talk about how you can add an emoji to your server now basically every server has its own emoji library that's what discord calls it and for example if you want to see the emojis that my server is having you have to click on the emoji then click on my server and these are a bunch of emojis that you can see. 
And the best thing is that, you know, you can basically um, add a custom image from your desktop and convert it into an emoji which can be used by other members in your server. So in order for this to work, if you are not the owner of the server, you have to ask for the permission from the owner or someone who's having the admin to give you the manage emoji permission. And once you have this permission, you can basically add or remove emojis within the server. However, if you are the owner of the server, then on your desktop, you can click on your server name, which is here at the top. And then you go to your server settings. And once you go there, you go to emojis and you know, you can just upload an emoji from here. On your phone, you swipe left to your channel view and then tap on your server name and then select the server settings and you know, then you upload the emojis. So from here, you can basically upload. And now the very last tip here is how to customize your profile image. Now I have explained this in my previous video with deep details. If you are interested, I'm just going to link it down in the description below. Feel free to check it out. But basically, if you want to change your avatar on your desktop, you go to your settings here, which is the gear icon. And then here you go to, you can either go to your user profile or you can just click here on the edit profile. Both of them will go to the same ending, which is the user profile itself. And then you just click on the change avatar or you can click on the image here where you can then change your image. Also, if you are a Discord Nitro subscriber, then you can also upload a GIF for animated avatars. So instead of just images, it will be a GIF. You can see a moving image, which is basically an image dancing around. So that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to click on the bell icon to never miss my upcoming videos. And as well, if you guys have any specific topic you guys want me to make a video about, then just make sure to comment it down below and I will make a video about it. Also, currently there are two Discord Nitro giveaways going on in my server. If you guys want to get a chance to win this Nitro giveaway, then please make sure to join my server. I will link it in the description below and then you can join this giveaway. And yeah, that's all. We are almost at the end of our playlist that I am making, which is getting started with Discord. And there is just one more video that I'm going to make, which is the upcoming one. And then this playlist will be done. If you are a new user to Discord, then this playlist will really help you. Or if you want to invite a user to Discord, then just make sure to share that playlist, which will help them understand what is Discord and how it works. So yeah, everyone, have a nice day. Have a nice night or evening, whatever you're having. Just enjoy your life.